Game number one has just begun. Let's find out who will be the sixth player to advance to the round of eight. Spawning in the top right-hand corner. You never know what to expect, but whatever it'll be, it'll be an entertaining match. It is genius! And his opponent down in the bottom left-hand corner. If you would like to see him edge his way through a second place in Group B, give a cheer for Acer's MMA! And I'm telling you, MMA has the eye of the tiger right now. This guy has been looking so good in the past couple months. I feel like this is his time. He is a champion. Once a champion, always a champion. Genius stands in this path, though. You see, gateway already going down. Very unusual to see a gateway as the first structure out of Genius. MMA doing a more standard barracks refinery play. The reason I say this is an uncomfortable map uh, is that for Protoss, once you get this third base established, if you try to be going for this fourth, there's a lot of funky counterattack paths, routes that can be up along this right side where drops for medevacs can come, or if you even decide to do this left base. It seems very nice because we have the single watchtower that holds so much space, but drops on the left and drops all the way at the right are very, very tricky for Protoss to defend properly. Just a big headache. But oh, thankfully yeah. for Genius' style, he doesn't play to that three base. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's a good point. It's like, how do you sidestep this map? Well, just all in on two base. Well, he's already, he has three in gas. If he puts another three in gas, I think we can expect that sort of thing. No, actually going for a little oh. bit more of a standard, a little bit more of a tricky play, getting double gas, and then slowly mining out of it. <laughs> MMA sending a very early SCV scout. He's going to find his opponent on two gas, and is going to try to block the early Nexus. It's really important. He's just checking gas and uh, Chrono Boost on top of that Nexus to see if he has to be careful against any oh. sort of gateway aggression. Gets down the Nexus, and there's that cheese genius going macro. Who'd have thought? Genius doing a little bit of bold plays as well, canceling the Zealot even before he threw down his Nexus and the SCV is hot on his heels. He runs the risk of getting Nexus blocked, but Fortunately, everything is going as according to plan. Fast Chrono Boost allows that Mothership Core to pop oh, out in oh. time. Oh, wow. one kill on that Reaper. Nice timing by MMA. Just seven health left. One more shot with that uh, Mothership Core would have killed him if he just did a scoot and shoot. Factory going down. This is the same build oh, we saw him do in his game against Trap. Of course, Genius will not be able to cross the map to do damage. This is such a greedy yeah. build coming out of him. Still hasn't put down any sort of bunkers. He's just relying yeah. on Genius playing very, very safe. Very, ooh, this is actually kind of an early robo. It's before five minutes. This is generally a Chrono Boosted double immortal push. I, I think they're cheering Trap, but don't worry. He's already into the round of eight. A very easy cheer. <laughs> yeah, this this robotics facility actually gives you a lot of options. Now, first off, it gives you the observer in time for a lot of six minute attacks. Of course, that doesn't really happen. Six minute attacks, six thirty attacks normally happen when you have the refinery first. You go into some sort of marine uh, mine drop. That's where you can really defend against that. But he knows after seeing the Reaper, it's not that build. So in my mind, I'm thinking he's going to go for a very fast robotics bay. That feels correct to me. That feels like Genius' style. So he gets a couple of servers. We're going to see him. Mm -hmm. uh, the real indicator is if he throws down the third and fourth gases. And there it is. So it feels like it's going to be just a three Colossus, like 11, 12 minute timing. And he gets a lot of stalkers. Well, the big danger, what is this observer going to rally towards? We see a second gateway, kind of an unusual gateway timing, just to plop one down at 6.30, but as a defensive maneuver that's saying, I just want to make sure I don't die accidentally to some goofy oh. attack. It's double forges. Wow, he's switching this up a lot. Well, this is genius, definitely dedicating to a deep long-term play. This can be a two-base, uh, just straight zealot-based push. But MMA is already setting himself up nicely to do this counter swing around because 
The observers aren't going anywhere nearby this attack. Whoop, there's the medevac already heading up. So if I'm genius, I'm gonna be expecting an attack up in the main base, but already we see the photon overcharge goes down at the front. It's perfect, he only has one photon overcharge for quite a long time, another couple minutes, and then he'll have his second one, but here the drop comes in, and he can just ferry the rest of the units all the way over. We're seeing MMA move up to the top side. Some shots going down. Immediately stalkers morph in. Is there any observer nearby? It doesn't look like it. One in the main, one headed back from the expansion. So it looks like Genius will be able to defend this pretty easily here. And the robotics bay has been put down. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It all is good. That ends good. So it looks like Acer's MMA just skirting around these edges. 1-1 one, one finishing up. About halfway done. What is Genius's transition follow-up going to be? I doubt he'll have some timing push planned as there are almost never good 1-1 one, one timing Colossus pushes for Protoss. It's just too big of an investment. Mm -hmm. MMA playing very boldly, knows that this is a difficult series of attacks for really any Protoss player to deal with. It's just going to begin one-shotting probes. Nice moves wow. by MMA, very bold moves as well. And Genius not prepared for that. He should have a pile in that position, or at least an observer, to check for any of those drops. The fact that all of those Marines were able to go down yeah. really signifies that maybe he's a little bit uncomfortable at this stage, the mid-game stage. I really love these drops from MMA. They're very subtle. MMA is just building up normally back in his base, but he saw the Double Forge. He sees that it's a Colossus tech, and then he knows the only way you can do that is if you cut observers. So he begins to do these massive drops on both sides. Wow, six gates total going down. He's going to be going for 2-2 and blink. Doesn't quite have enough money to produce out of all six of those gateways, so it's either going to be a very defensive play where he's just going to leave them idle to do defensive warpins. Yeah, I think it's just going to be idle for now. I mean, yeah. he has to really uh, get his Colossus out as fast as possible, get his 2-2 out as fast as possible, because this timing is all meant to just have the quality units and uh, try to just get good engagements, hopefully at the natural base, and just basically overwhelm his opponent. But MMA kind of has tabs on everything that's going on. Normally, when you see something like this, you add on another starport, or you just add on a lot of bunkers. Well, let's see what MMA's choice is. Meanwhile, back in his base, we see this engineering base inactive at this point in time. Just getting the usual mix of three tech labs, oh. two reactors. So every single time I've watched MMA not go for the armory and stop at 1-1, he's always gone for an SCV all-in. Oh. This could very well just be a huge amount of units pop. Oh, no, he did get the armory. I'm sorry. There it is. Now it's starting to come out, but I'm getting a little concern that Genius is actually going to be going for just a 2-2 blink timing. Just going to be shoving all the way in. He's going to be running over here to the back side. It's this pack of zealots that concerns me a bit. I mean, why do more zealot? Yeah, why warp in all these units unless you're going for an attack? Why hide the Colossus in between unless you're going to be going yeah. for an attack? I mean, he should have gotten his third a lot longer ago, or a lot earlier, excuse me. But now he's going to pop out here, kill this probe, kill this zealot. Everything's good. Yeah, I think Genius is going to go for the attack. I, there's nothing else he can do. I mean, it's already 12 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. He needs to be pushing out right now. Yeah, he's, he's been producing way too many units for this yeah. not to be a huge attack. And it's going to be a four Colossus 2-2 two -two push. But what's the Viking count at? Ooh, four. Uh, that's not going to be good enough. Starport is on the way, though. So we'll have like four Starport production, if you want to look at it that way. Uh, that's really nice. Every 42 seconds, you get an extra four metabats, or four uh, Vikings. Catch up with that count. And he's going to look to drop just to buy a little bit of time, but I really feel like he doesn't have the time. So yeah, it looks like uh, gearing up to do the pylon pressure. And MMA with a counter swing. He's going to be able to pick off a lot of units, maybe even the Nexus. Oh, great grab from MMA. Snatching a few key shots there, but here comes uh -oh. the big push. I think MMA needs to abandon ship at his third. Yes, he does. SCVs are instantly going to go into the natural base. Genius going to uh, move around his units slightly, so he's getting in the right place. 2-1 is just about to finish. If MMA gets there, that's going to be a critical delay. timing. 
for him to defend against this upcoming push. And the more and more Genius waits, the less and less likely is that this attack is going to work. Remember, his Viking count is getting really, oh, really large very God. fast. Ten Vikings. I mean, the amount of damage these Vikings is going to be able to do. The plus one air attack done. 15 damage per shot. That's 300 damage of volley. Still not quite enough to pick off the Colossus. He'll, he'll be two-shotting these. Oh, no, uh -oh, Marine uh -oh, Tavares uh -oh, uh -oh. cannot take any damage. Vikings, though, getting okay positions. But another Colossus is getting in here. This is a really strong attack. And the Blink Stalkers will be able to get right under these Vikings and eliminate them. This is a fantastic arc right now for MMA and for Genius. Both Colossi are very oh. low on health, and they fall. But Blink Stalkers still remain. SCV train coming to greet them. There is not a lot of good units on the map for Genius. MMA unsure what to do, where to produce. Pulls back up into his main... Oh no! Full mana back falls! That's exactly what he needs. Now big blink on top of all the units, trying to take out the Marines and Marauders. The SEVs are just too late to the party, trying to do some cute micro, but MMA... Oh, he's Whoa. able to hold? What? How did he defend that I one? I don't know! Still, MMA is not out of the woods just yet. He has the economic advantage, but it's 2-2 two -two against 2-1 at this point. His medevac count isn't that high, and Straggling Colossus can still do a lot of damage. He doesn't yet have the economy to deal, or at least to produce, off of the four, uh, four starports, or the two starport reactors. So this is a situation where there's still timings for Genius as long as he gets his Colossus production going. I mean, Genius, the all-in toss, if I have ever seen one, refuses to do a straight-up match because his all-in timings are so strong. Genius can do this pressure essentially unpunished. He has Blink. He can easily dart away. Mothership Core with 200-200 energy has joined the party. These are slow zealots. The SCVs are going to be uh -oh. the only thing that will oh, keep MMA in Great the time home. warp. And now all the units are just pushing on in. Again, another great time warp. The SCVs are getting burned up by the Colossus because of that. Marines and Marauders cannot close the distance, and Genius looking scarier and scarier and scarier. These medevacs need to pop out to increase the lifetime of this bio unit. MMA with just an uncanny good defense, but is still on the ropes. Time warp barely wear off, and it looks like this Expo is going to fall. Can he get in there? Oh no! Loaded up a pack of units! Into SCVs. that. Oh, great time warp. And the second Colossus is on the way. There it is, just gunning down everything. Genius. MMA is on the ropes. He's looking to lose this first game. Big blink up. We don't mind. We'll connect, but it's not going to be enough. The Colossus count is too big for our Protoss player. When in doubt, all in. Genius swinging to the front lines. A Nexus gets thrown down. Ladies and gentlemen, Genius will take a third base! Genius playing so well, knows exactly the 2-2 timings he needs to be able to win. Nice spread, only one Marine falls to this. MMA refusing to end this game. It's not much that he can do at this point. I mean, Genius is just overwhelming. Uh -oh. uh, <laughs> The third base cancel, yet again. And here's the big attack, but it's not going to be enough. Blink Stalkers, uh, Blink and Bang actually doing a good job so far, but I don't. I just think there's too much material here for Genius. Unreal. Of course, he's still off of one base. What? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I mean, this is all the production. These are all the units out for MMA. Twenty supply to 103. A and MMA ending for MMA. Genius pulls the lead to 1-0. It's the insanity Protoss. That's what he is, man. I want to note something that MMA just did, though. Yeah. That scan at the end, that is a very clever scan. You know you're